Knoxville City Council unanimously approved $1 million of emergency funding for violence prevention and interruption efforts. This following the recent deaths of three Austinese students. WAT6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown finds out what this means now for the community. Last week, the mayor vowed action, and now the city is moving in that direction. The surge in violence must stop, and I know you all agree. This is not a political debate to win, but an urgent crisis to resolve. And the only way to do that is together and head on. $1 million of emergency funding was passed by City Council Tuesday night in a unanimous vote. This budget amendment asks for your support to ensure we can move forward quickly on violence interruption and prevention programs that we know to be effective. The mayor says this budget amendment was months in the making and was set to be presented as a part of the regular budget. But with the way gun violence has increased, she expedited the process. Because of the nature and urgency of this, I'm bringing it to you now. I don't want to wait till July 1st to stop the bleeding. I want to start tonight. The funds will go toward programs that work with the community to reduce violence. This will complement and augment the ongoing efforts that have been going on in our city for many years. Save our sons and now empower Knox and many more partners in Knoxville have already begun the hard work of addressing root causes. Those will continue. Other resolutions passed Tuesday include possible funding for the Knoxville Police Department. City Council voted to allow them to apply for two grants geared specifically toward combating violence. Priorities focusing on reducing serious and violent crime, including gun violence, dismantling gang activity, and strengthening the local capacity to combat drug abuse. After a month of tragedy, Knoxville is taking the first steps toward change. In Knoxville, Jordan Brown, WATE, six on your side. All right, Jordan, thank you. Now, the $1 million passed on emergency tonight, meaning it does not need a second vote. Uh, the next step is to figure out exactly how that money will be distributed.